Hello dear learner friends welcome to today's presentation I am your English teacher Dr Pallavi Gogoi of Krishna Kanda Handic State Open University Guwahati The title of my presentation for you is Appreciation of Poetry This is for learners of semester 2 and 4 of BA English program of the university Now let's come to the content of the presentation It is structured as follows Introduction Something about poetry prescribed poems for BA English learners of semester 2 prescribed poems for BA English learners of semester 4 appreciating the prescribed poems tips to study prescribed poems conclusion followed by references Now let me begin with a quotation by Khalil Gibran Quote and quote poetry is a deal of joy and pain and wonder with a dash of the dictionary Another quote by Dylan Thomas Quote and quote poetry is what in a poem makes you laugh cry prickle be silent makes your two nails twinkle makes you want to do this or that or nothing makes you know that you are alone in the unknown world that your bliss and suffering is forever shared and forever all your own let us come to the introduction now poetry Poetry is a creative expression that both enraptures and enraptures the human heart. The sheer beauty and power of poetry makes it one of the richest forms of literary and creative expression. There's certainly something about poetry that makes it so special. In fact, there are various elements and aspects of poetry that makes it a literary tradition of its own. Have you ever pondered or come across this thought that poetry can be so engaging and soul-stirring? Or Do you find it difficult to comprehend or make sense of poetry? Have you tried and felt it is certainly not your cup of tea? Well, it is too early to tell. At least without trying a little bit harder and with a little more focus, you can do wonders. Only when we try to delve into the core or depths of poetry, deciphering or unraveling its meanings, can we relate to it better and thereby appreciate it all the more. which is the central purpose of this particular presentation the presentation title appreciation of poetry intends to encourage all learners whether avid poetry readers or writers or even those who struggle with a literary form to study and appreciate poetry with a fresh perspective and develop a keen interest after all poetry opens up a new world of meaning to us and the treasures of poetry is all ours to explore poetry Poetry encompasses a range of human experiences and provides glimpses of the world around us thereby opening up a plethora of meanings and fresh perspectives on the wonders and mysteries of life Poetry means different things to different people it may mean the pouring of one's feelings expression of one's thoughts creative scribblings of one's immediate observations a way of reflection narration a way of protest even and certainly a way of reaching out through the power of articulation poetry is that inner voice that none can suppress it always finds a way to flow like a river flowing to the seas to finally meet the oceans poetry is often thought to rom- romanticize reality but it is not necessarily so for the treasures of poetry or even literature is so much more than that even on the more sorry even on the most saddest or gloomiest of days or the most joyful of experiences poetry has a power to add or rather sprinkle a sense of wonder and meaning to our everyday experiences poetry makes us thoughtful stirs our sensibilities sharpens our thoughts enriches our perspectives and enlivens us to everything around us poetry is even therapeutic or in other words has the power to heal now coming to the prescribed poems for ba english learners of semester 2 here in front of you you can see what is prescribed for elective english the first table is of block 1 and the second table is of block 2 similarly the prescribed poems for ba english learners of semester 4 are listed as follows english major english poetry from medieval to modern that's the name of the paper and The first list is of block 1 the units in block 1 and the second list is of units in block 2 Appreciating the prescribed poems 
1. To begin with, the reason we delve into the life and works of a poet or poetess is to familiarize ourselves with a glimpse of his or her life journey and wide experiences as they tend to leave certain traces or influences on his or her literary work or writings. 2. The reason we try to figure out in which century a poet or poetess wrote is to gain a better insight into or rather a better understanding of the context and background of a poem or the background in which a poem was originally written. In terms of thematic content, poetry can capture anything under the sun. In fact, it does cover multiple aspects of human lives, experiences, emotions and concerns of the surrounding world. 4. Poems are saturated or filled with deeper or even symbolic meanings and are always open to new interpretations. It is not confined to just one particular perspective or way of interpretation. 5. There are various poetical styles, genres and literary devices that are used in writing poems. Poems can be written or penned in free verse or even in the lyrical form with certain musical or rhythmic quality. For a moment of thought, what are songs but poems set to tones and rhythms of music? Coming to your tips to study prescribed poems. First, do read all the poems in your self-learning material one by one simply for the joy of reading and gaining a vague idea of what each poem tries to convey or express. Write down your first impressions of the poems or initial responses after reading only the text of poems. In a step-by-step -step approach, do pick up the first block of the poetry paper to study the units in a systematic repeat in a systematic order. Then move on to the second block of the poetry paper in the same way. Try and recall about the life and literary journey of each poet as if you were simply making a new friend whom you would gradually get to know better. Now you will do well to read and reread the given summary or explanation of the prescribed poems of each unit. Try to figure out the main thematic concerns that are reflected in the poems. You may come up with your own additional thoughts on the same. Reread the poems and then try to match it with the descriptions provided in the style and language section of each unit. Check out the questions provided in and at the end of each unit and see if you can answer them in your own words. Note making and even highlighting important portions of each unit shall help you to prepare well for your examination as well. Also, refer to the glossary or a dictionary at all times. In conclusion, I would say the representative poems that are prescribed in your syllabus for BA English Semester 2 and 4 are also some of the widely anthologized poems and some of the most reader-friendly poems. Do make it a point to read the text or rather the lines and stanzas of the poem and all the given explanations in the self-learning materials which will guide your way. Poetry gives one the scope to try and decipher the meanings at its core. Every poem has a message. Try and capture that in your own words too. Meanings in a poem are not always apparent or evident on the surface level and requires informed readings and original as well as justified interpretations. Thus, both the appreciation and interpretation of poems are important for it can add a new dimension, new perspective or approach, a new dash of meaning and provide a whole new insight. Try to relate what a poem tries to convey or express and create a mental picture of the descriptions, explanations in your imagination. You may access good reference books, articles and web sources judiciously, but at the end of the day, this should only supplement your reading. You must pen down your own spontaneous and genuine thoughts feelings and impressions from your own complete readings of all the units. This will help you to find a sense of clarity in your understanding of each poetry unit. Here are the references of the self-learning materials. These are also available in the electronic form as ESLM. You can just go to our website and find it available there. The significance and relevance of poetry cannot be denied. It is an interesting way to engage in unraveling the symbolic meanings of poems, the poetic vision of poets and thoughtful reflections that stills our emotions, conscience and consciousness. It makes us realize that we are all bound by both the common aspects or other commonalities and the differences of human experiences. We may just about appreciate the thoughtfulness and remarkable dexterity with which poets of all ages have captured the entire world in capsules of poems and the beauty of measured words. Give poetry a chance. 
to cultivate a love and appreciation for poetry. Always. Thank you.